work out the following integral. The integral of sine squared x dx. Now, sine squared x uh, dx, there's no actual direct way of integrating. However, we can use an identity to help us. So, we know that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So if we rearrange this to make sine squared x a subject, we get 2 sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x. And therefore sine squared x is a half brackets 1 minus cos 2x. So what we do, we now replace sine squared x with this, because we can actually integrate this. So sine squared x dx is a half. A half can be taken out of an integral sign, because it's just a number. 1 minus cos 2x dx. Now, the integral of this bit here, if we think the answer is uh, comes from sine 2x, and if we differentiate that, we're going to get 2 cos 2x. We've got 2 times too much, so we need to put a half in. The integral of 1 with respect to x is actually x itself. So we're going to have a half brackets of x minus a half sine 2x, close the bracket, plus c as the final answer. A similar process can be done from for integrating cos squared x, where you use a different version of this formula.